another season has come to a close for the Red Deer Synchronized Swimming Club, but the year wouldn't be complete without a final show. The performances have sparkle and splash, but coach Paige Greenwood says synchro is much more than what appears at surface level. It's not like any other sport really. It's a combination of a bunch of different sports put into one. And I really like that about it. You're doing a little bit of gymnastics, a little bit of dance, you're doing swimming. It's really hard. Everyone's like, oh, it's such an easy sport. Like I could do synchro. What do you do, like dance in the water? It's actually very physically demanding. The girls don't touch the bottom at all. At a competition, we'll get a penalty for touching the bottom. It looks effortless when you watch it but that's thanks to all the training that goes into it prior. The swimmers rely on the music, looking at their teammates underwater and most importantly counting to keep them in sync. Hours of workouts and run-throughs every week is crucial for the swimmers to feel prepared. Third-year competitive synchronized swimmer Kia Riesling explains that there is even more work to be done outside of the pool prior to a competition or performance. From preparations for hair and makeup, we have to buy waterproof makeup so it can stay on in the water when we're doing our performances. And we get we have to buy this thing called Knox gelatin. And everyone uses it for synchronized swimming. And it keeps our hair from going everywhere and getting in our way while we're doing our routines. A lot of patience and practice goes into every choreographed routine, and Riesling in particular has big plans for the future. I plan on going to the Canada Winter Games. I want to go for the Alberta Winter Games team when we hold it here in Red Deer. I know next year we're actually going national. I am pushing myself. I am trying to get way better just because I want to get in that team. Riesling knows that a lot of hard work lies ahead of her before reaching that goal, but second year competitive synchronized swimmer Jaden Haas has her sights set even higher. I want to live up to my goal to be an Olympic synchronized swimmer and I just feel that I can achieve that and find a way to get there. Their coach is more than proud to see the girls looking ahead and thinking big. It's amazing knowing that they are so driven and I see that in the pool every day and it, it makes coaching so much easier because they're here and they love being here. It makes me work harder as a coach knowing that they have such big dreams and aspirations. But for now, the girls are looking forward to performing their routines for friends and family one last time before the season's end, while most importantly, having fun. It's always that nervous and excited feeling together, but then once you're in the water doing your routine, it just all goes away and you have the best time ever. For Go Central, I'm Chloe Hoffner.